Welcome back to Elden Ring. We just defeated Malikath or Malikath or however you pronounce their name. And the Stone of Death has been unbound and the Erd Tree is very much on fire, including the Round Table Hold as well, because it seems to be a, I don't know, a projection of the Erd Tree or almost like we're inside the Erd Tree or something. Anyway, I just teleported here and it says new items can be purchased from the Twin Maiden Husks. So I want to check that out, but I also want to see what I can get from the Remembrance. Uh, oh. I think they're dead. I guess the Twin Maiden Husks do sell us items. I guess they don't need to be alive to do their job. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Hard worker. Malikith's Black Blade. Colossal Sword. 20 Faith. 34 Strength. Black blade which once harbored the power of the rune of death, a sad shadow of its former glory. After a fragment of death was stolen on that fateful night, Malikith bound the blade within his own flesh, such that none might ever rob death again. Well, except me. Destined death set free the remnants of destined death, plunging the greatsword into the ground to summon a myriad of blades. In addition to dealing immediate damage, this attack reduces the enemy's maximum HP and continues to wear down HP for a short time. They definitely use that against me. And the other one is... what is that? It's an incantation, unfortunately. 46 faith. Black blade spinning slash that emits a wave of light. Ah, I can't use either of these, unfortunately. Any new equipment? Yeah, there's definitely some new stuff here. Actually, wait, is there? Oh, their helmet. Beast's helm made of black iron and decorated with gold. Malikith, Queen Marika's loyal half-brother, bore a blade imbued with destined death, and there was not one demigod who did not fear him. Champions knew what was at stake. Indeed, that is what made them champions. Queen Marika's loyal half-brother. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll pop the rune. I'm sure other things have changed here as well. Okay, you're still alive. Good. I see. They have no comment about anything that's happened. You're still here, my friend. You. Oh. I must be a blacksmith. <laughs> now. Let's get smithing. God, they're almost gone. Could you tell me what happened? Why is the round table burning? In ruins. Why does that girl weep for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? God, can I do anything? Rodrika? I see. Uh, so it wasn't just me this happened to. To think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out, old Hugh. I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold. Now. Yes. But maybe it's better that we don't. It's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I'm not going to respect that choice. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. I'd like to return the kindness. In whatever small way I can. Please, become Elden Lord. Hugh was always saying that you were a lord to him. So slay her with the weapons he smithed. Slay the god Marika, who cursed us all. I can slay the god with the weapon they smithed. Without them staying here. Who are you? Oh, now. Can 
Can I... Can I not? There's no option. This place is mostly deserted. What new things can we get from the shop? Will I even be able to tell what the new things are? Oh. Fever's Cookbook 3. Bewitching Branch. What is that? Uses FP to charm pierced enemy. Pierce a foe using FP to turn them into a temporary ally. The Empyrean Mikella is loved by many people. Indeed, he's learned very well how to compel such affection. Let's put a couple points into mind. And... Well, I could teleport to any of these places in here, but it took me here to the capital of Ash. Side of Grace. So I feel like I should start exploring from here. Oh, can we not use our horse here? Yeah, we still can't. I don't know if there's going to be anything here at all. Seek up. Isn't this the area we've already been to, though? Oh, I hear something moving. Ah, oh, it's one of the gargoyles. I guess I could try sniping it from here. Isn't there a side of grace here? I thought there was. Yeah, these items have already been gotten. Oh, right. I still... I, oh, no, they spotted me, I think. Yep. Okay, it seems like they can't get me up here at all. Things have also not changed. Oh, here's something. That's a very important item with that color. Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Yeah, it's my second one. I have no use of it at the moment, but if I ever want to get another special weapon up to plus 10. Oh yeah, this leads to this side of grace, but we have to get it again, don't we? Yeah. Oh, is Buck? Buck is still here. Buck, the seamster, at your service. Have you noticed what's happened, my friend? To make adjustments to There's more important things. Okay. 
They really are focused on garments and garments only. Like, I doubt anything's changed back here. But what if? I'll check it off camera. Nope, nothing has changed back there. It just leads to the... Uh, the Capitol Rampart side of Grace, which I didn't have to rediscover. That was already, like, stayed discovered. It's eerie how empty everything is now. Not a single enemy. I guess that's a piece of burning branch that fell off the earth tree, isn't it? Just charcoal now. There's probably where I'm supposed to go. Anything back here? Sadness ahead. Friend ahead. Oh, tree branches bridge the gap. Flowers are still there. Hmm. Yeah, all those branches that were coiling around this thing are gone. I think that's... I mean, the branches are kind of how we got to the earth tree. But I think we'll be fine just going up the stairs over here. Is it the all-knowing? Ah, I knew you'd come. I can't wait to kill you, you prick. The Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle. That was not very effective. Nor is theirs. Oh. 
Ow. Oh, you have Comet too, I see. But do you have Moon? of the all-knowing and then helm armor gauntlets and greaves let's get a point in dex Scepter of the All-Knowing. It's a hammer. Oh, interesting. I can actually use it. Strength, dex, and int. Very little strength, though, so no problem. 18 dex, 21 int. So it scales with int. Scepter in the form of a hand grasping a pearl. Signature weapon of Sir Gideon Ofnir, the All-Knowing. The pearl stands for the world, the heavens, and an eye representing the many forms of knowledge never fully attainable. Even knowing that, the all-knowing's hand grasps for it. Then the special knowledge above all raise the scepter to manifest the realm of the all-knowing. Enemy magic and holy damage negation will be reduced for all within the area, including the caster. Hmm. Yeah, reduces their magic negation. Although it reduces mine as well. The question is by how much, but let's take a look at the attacks for it and the armor as well. I'm sure it's not anything I'm going to want to wear. Knowledge begins with a recognition of one's of one's ignorance. The realization that the search for knowledge is unending, but when Gideon glimpsed into the will of Queen Marika, he shuddered in fear at the end that should not be. Same description for that. What does that look like on me? Eh, looks better in the picture than it does on me. And also, it's not a dress. Sure, the gauntlets probably won't look great. Now, in the picture, they look like quite shiny and silvery, but they're quite just gray when you put them on. I assume the leggings are pretty much the same. What are the toes going to look like? Yeah, not nearly as interesting as the twin greaves. So let's try out that weapon. Quick attack. Pretty quick. Seems like a fairly long weapon, too. Surprised how quick the strikes are. Strong attack. And special. So there's the debuff applied to me. I wonder how long it lasts. And I wonder what the range of that is. It also takes quite a lot of FP. Oh, 
I don't know, if the range is what it just looks like visually above my head, then I would say it's really just like right next to you. Hmm. I looked it up on the wiki and it's not that impressive. The debuff seems to be about 10% to me and to others. But the, thing, the thing is, I can get about the same amount, maybe more, I don't quite remember, but a similar amount just by using Renala's Full Moon and it doesn't hurt me. So I don't think it's really worth using that. I mean, of course, it, I like it probably would stack with Renal's Full Moon, but eh, I don't know. But it still might be good for the normal attacks, potentially. But it's just like, why use that when I'm not really going to use the special when I can use this, where I definitely will use the special. And the heavy attack even has its own super cool thing. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use it unless I just really need a different damage type. Like, it is Strike Pierce, whereas this is Slash. Anyone else going to try to stop me? Incantation, I'm sure. Just double check. Yeah. Oh boy. Shabriri. My dude. No, thank you. Didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold? Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. I love that they just got a shoulder cat. Well, I'm set up for the laser beam, so I gotta try it, right? One more try. I did 800 damage, not bad. That was terrible, actually. Definitely gonna switch that out. Before I fight them again. <laughs> Whoa, oh wow. That's cool.
that cat's just hanging out there. Oh, wow, that has a much wider effect than I thought. What is that? What is that? I mean, they for sure have like three phases, right? Is it tiger time? That's a familiar name. Oh, their moves are really cool. I hope I live long enough to see more than like one of them. Oh no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that is so cool. Poor Sarosh. Oh, no. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's not so cool. Ew.
Huh. Eh, weak foe. No, seriously though, that was extremely difficult. <laughs> Likely victory. Still no dog! Oh. Can you really call it a victory if you don't have a dog? Oh, I have 300,000. That's... Not quite two levels. I think I need to be smarter. Before anything else, let's see what we can get from that remembrance. Axe of Godfrey, colossal weapon, 42 strength. Or an Ash of War, Earthshaker, usable on all melee armaments. Grants affinity, uh, yeah. Uh, it makes it heavy, so that's going to make it scale with strength. Slam both hands onto the ground to violently shake the earth and unleash a shockwave. Follow up with an additional input to slam the ground again. I wonder if it has as wide of a range as they had in the boss fight, because their range was, I think, the entire arena, pretty much. Well, I definitely don't want to make a weapon have um, the heavy... Affinity, so... But does it actually have to be heavy? Because I'm pretty sure it lets you choose. Doesn't it? Well, I know I'm not going to get that many souls if I pop it, so... I'm just going to take this. And just to satisfy my curiosity, let me see if it really has to be heavy. Or if that's more of a... <laughs> suggestion. Yeah, it doesn't actually have to be heavy. I guess it's... Just a suggestion. Or if you somehow manage to get here without having any of the tools that allow you to set it to different types, then I guess you would be forced into heavy, probably. <laughs> but like, that's never gonna happen. Can't really tell how wide the effect is. I mean, if it's just where you see it, it's actually quite limited, but it might go further. Love the scream, though. Don't tell me this one says left. <laughs> what the fuck? Those left by the same person, or do they coordinate? I'm about to enter the Erd tree. The thorns are burned. Fortnite. Touch golden light. Yeah, this is definitely another fight.
Radigan of the Golden Order. Okay, the music is getting me pumped up, though. All right, what's your next phase?
I know that type of magic. God, that thing's beautiful. perpendicular. It usually works. Uh, it kind of worked. Right. Uh, I had two more FP potions left. We're gonna have trouble just having enough FP. Okay, taking a probably a very long break from that boss because I think we have a lot of other stuff to do. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking that after that, that there would be more and that would lead to how to get to this lower area and all the other things that were missing. But my wife looked it up and apparently, actually how we get there is by using our Halig Tree Medallion, Halig Tree Secret Medallion. We have both pieces of that. And I was waiting for a different lift, but I didn't realize the description said um, to use it on the lift of rolled, which we already operated, but... I guess it takes you to a different area. So if you switch action here, there's Hoist Medallion and then Hoist Secret Medallion. I'm guessing this place might feel extremely easy compared to what I've been dealing with. So where are we on the map? Well, still here. Hidden path to the Halleck tree. Beast Eye Quivers. The hell is that? Yeah, what is that? Oh, it's one of those things, the big balls we've seen on the beach. Race ahead. Not sure if this is going to reach.
They're using that beast magic. Gorgeous view ahead. Uh, <laughs> it's a great view. Let's try going the other way. Oh no. I don't like that breathing. Is that all that's over this way? I'm not sure why they said to get the side of Grace first. Precious item ahead. I don't think so. Wait. What the hell? Is that just in midair? Huh? Is there any indication where the path is? Maybe the path is everywhere. Maybe this entire thing is just a floor. Uh. Let's hope. Nope. sure how to tell where it is. I saw a ghost over this way, so... Safe bet. Oh, bloodstains. That helps. How did you die? Where'd you go? What the hell? Okay, well, there's messages this way. Looks like there's some stairs down.
Ooh, I see a lever in there. Uh, can I, like, toss something at you? I can't craft in combat. I have a couple holy water pots. That's not very effective. door is opened. Sorry, babies. Okay, that probably leads to a boss. Yep. What does this lead to? Vastly boosts magical damage negation. Nice. Oh yeah, I guess I don't want that there anymore. I'm not fighting the boss. Let's boost all physical damage negation. Visions of here again, therefore turn back. Guess that's an area we've already been to. Nothing below it. Lost time, I guess. Be wary of mimicry. Oh no. Move too soon. Away from the pillar. <laughs> the stake is nearby. So I'm not exactly sure how to get back there again. 
Oh yeah, it's just right here. Well, in this case, actually vastly boosting my magical damage protection would be perfect. Although that might mean that they now have that same protection. I'm not sure how that works. Dang it. Let's try melee. Flame Monk Amon. Amon swore fealty to the god slaying Black Flame and so became the first Fire Monk to turn traitor. Or perhaps it is better said that he fled from the giant's flame out of cowardice. 115 FP. It's very high. Oh, we have two death roots. Smithing Stone and Gronk's Beast Claw. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to enjoy this beautiful view at the hidden path to the Halig Tree. <laughs>